Hello and welcome back. In this video, we will see how to create our own voice assistant using Java. So you might have used a Google Assistant or Siri or Amazon Alexa. Okay. So that kind of voice assistant we are going to create in this video. So basically we will have our own voice assistant in Java. So what we are going to do is that we will provide two voice commands to our Java application. The first one is to open the Google Chrome browser and the second is to close the Google Chrome browser. So let me run this Java application and let's provide two voice commands. Open Chrome. Close Chrome. So this is what we are going to do. Okay. We provided two voice commands opening the Chrome browser and closing the Chrome browser. And we will do in our Java application. So don't worry about this code. This is what we are going to do in this video from the scratch. This is I am just showing you that what you will be able to do after watching this video. So now you have idea that what we are going to do in this video. So let's start creating our own voice assistant using Java. So here we will use Sphinx library. So this is basically speech recognition library provided for Java and that's what we are going to use in this video. So here we need to add two dependencies in our pom.xml or if you are using Gradle then the same you need to add in your build.gradle file. So the first one is Sphinx data and the second one is Sphinx core. So make sure you are adding these two dependencies in your pom.xml or build.gradle. Don't worry, these two dependencies and along with the source code that we are going to develop in this video, all the things and the link I will provide in the description. Now, here is our class that is voice assistant with public static void main. Okay. So here we are going to provide two voice commands to our voice assistant. Okay. The first one is to open the Chrome browser and the second one is to close the Chrome browser. So let's first create one text file. Okay. That is basically containing our commands. Let's have one text file inside our SRC main resources. You can have it any location. Okay. It's up to you. I'm saying commands.txt. So the first one is open Chrome. The second is close Chrome. So these are two voice commands. So now we will do the configuration. So before we start using the library, we need to do some configuration. So let's say one object of this configuration class. And here, we need to provide couple of things. Okay. So the first thing is set acoustic model path. So this is basically kind of language. So here we are going to provide our voice commands in the language, basically English language. Okay. So this is what you need to provide. So this is provided by library itself. Okay. Sphinx. So we don't need to worry about it. And this is the hard coded value we need to provide. Okay. Now the second thing is config dot set dictionary path. Okay. And another one is set language model. So this we need to derive from the Sphinx knowledge base generator. So for that, go to your browser, Google and search for Sphinx knowledge base generator. Okay. And here upload the text file. Okay. With our commands. So just now we created this text file. Okay. One is open Chrome. The second command is close Chrome. Okay. So whatever location you have, just upload it and compile knowledge base. So this will create couple of files for us. Okay. So here we are just interested into the two files. One is dictionary. That is this one. And the second one is language model. Okay. This is basically created according to our pronunciation. Okay. The dictionary file and the language model. So this is what we are interested. So the first one is this one. Let me copy this file and we will put it inside our SRC main resources or any other location that you want. 
and you can give any file name but make sure you are giving the correct file extension okay for dictionary it's dot dic and for language model it's dot lm now let me copy this content and save it same for the language model let's create this file inside the src main resources and copy this content over here that's it let's close all this okay and here we will set the path okay so src main resources and this is the file name okay whatever you have dot dic and same for the language model okay so let me copy this and do lm so this is our english language this is the dictionary with our voice commands that we are going to provide in this video right two voice commands and this is the language model for it okay now let's move it so now here we need to get the voice command that is being spoken by us and that is captured by your mic your laptop's mic or your pc mic or if you have connected any other mic to your system okay so that voice basically our voice command whatever we have spoken we need to get that okay what is that voice command and accordingly we need to act if it is open chrome then we need to proceed and opening the chrome browser if it is the close chrome command then accordingly we need to close the chrome browser okay so that's up to operating system so that we will see so here live speech recognizer and we will create the new and pass the configuration so let's surround it with try catch okay so here what it will do it will capture the voice commands that we have spoken into the mic okay for our laptop or pc or if any other mic you have attached to your system okay so we need to start okay so start recognition and one boolean value you need to pass okay that is to clear previous catch or any other history so better to provide true to clear any catch okay so this will start the recognition whatever we are going to speak into the mic of our laptop now let's capture the voice command that is coming to our mic using this object of live speech recognizer okay so just call the method get result so now here what we are going to do is that we will have one infinite while loop and in that we will check what voice command is coming at every time okay so what we will do let's say one while loop okay infinite basically till when this is not null okay if it is null then go outside so this will return the object of speech result so let's have one object of speech result and here let's get it like this now using this object we will see what voice command is coming to our mic okay whatever is spoken by us so let's capture it into the string variable that is voice command get hypothesis okay and let's print it out okay saying that voice command is and this is our voice command so whatever we will speak into the mic that will come to this live speech recognizer and using this infinite while loop we will get into this voice command string variable okay now we will compare it okay what it is coming so let's compare with the if condition that if it is equals ignore case open chrome that means if we are speaking into the mic and the sentence is basically our voice command is open chrome then 
we want to open the chrome browser okay so runtime using java lang runtime dot get runtime dot execute command so here we need to write the command to open the google chrome browser in our system so this command varies according to your operating system so here i am using windows operating system so accordingly i will provide the command to open the chrome browser in my system if you are using mac or any other operating system then just do google and find the proper command to open the chrome browser in your system so it's very handy just google it out very easy okay i cannot do here because i can just provide for the windows operating system and that's what i'm using so in windows we have command prompt right so that is cmd dot exe and with the backward slash we will provide we want to open the chrome browser so this is fine okay so what happens if chrome browser is already open then it will open the new tab if it is not open then it will open the new window of the google chrome browser and after opening it if you go on to navigate to any url then also you can provide like this okay so you can give any url here i am providing url of my website so infibus.com so this will open the new tab or if it is not open already then new window of google chrome browser and just after that it will navigate to my website that is infibus.com or whatever url you are providing if you are not providing any url like this okay that's also fine it will just open the new tab or new window of your browser google chrome now let's say one else it condition okay so if this voice command equals ignore case close chrome so in the same way we need to write the command according to our operating system to close the chrome browser so command prompt backward slash c then task kill backward slash im and chrome dot exe so if voice command is coming to our mic that we are going to speak is open chrome then open the google chrome browser and if the voice command is close chrome then we are going to close the google chrome okay and this is inside the infinite while loop so now let's run this java program and let's provide two voice commands the first one is to open the chrome and the second one is to close the chrome so run the java application see now the voice command is blank so if i am speaking anything it is capturing see okay now let's provide the command open chrome okay it's not working because we missed a start over here now let's run the java program again open chrome see it has opened a new tab okay because the chrome browser was already open and it has navigated to my website that is infibus.com now let's provide our second voice command close chrome see now let me run this java application again and there is no window open of chrome okay so let's go again open chrome see it has opened the new window of google chrome browser and it has navigated to this url infibus.com that is basically my website now let's provide our second voice command close chrome so this is our own voice assistant in java using sphinx library so link for this source code i will provide in the description and apart from that in the description you will find the links for the courses that i am providing like building the rest apis using spring boot and jpa graphql with spring boot mongodb with spring boot creating reports from your java and spring boot application using jasper reports rabbit mq messaging with java and spring boot and many other courses and its links provided in the description just click on the link and start learning new things if you like the video then please subscribe to the channel hit the notification bell like the video do comment in the comment section and share with your friends 
we'll see you in the another video till then happy learning and happy coding